Okay, so have you seen this stuff? What stuff? About Giza, like all over the place online, right? Articles and videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the, like the underground structures. Right, exactly. It's yeah. like everywhere you look now, there's something about these supposed like huge chambers and tunnels under the pyramids. Yeah, it's pretty wild. So we uh, we thought we'd take a deep dive into this, see what's really going on, because it is, it's pretty fascinating stuff, even if it might be a little out there. Absolutely, yeah. Let's like break it down, see what the actual claims are and where they're coming from. Right, because it's it's easy to get caught up in like the excitement of it all, you yeah. know, secret chambers and lost civilizations and all that. For sure. It's like catnip for the imagination. Exactly. So uh, we found this video from a guide who's actually in Egypt right now with a tour group. So they're right there at Giza. Oh, wow. So they're like on the ground. Yeah. And they're taking on these claims directly, especially this whole idea of structures going down hundreds of meters. Some even say like 800 meters under the plateau. 800 meters. That's like deeper than it's insane, right? Yeah. It's like almost a kilometer underground. Yeah. It's like something out of a movie or a video game or something. Total science fiction vibes. So where's all this even coming from? Well, the video we're looking at traces it back to this guy, Tony Tronte. Right. I've heard that name. Yeah, he's been talking about these supposed discoveries made by a couple of researchers, Biondi and Malanga, back in 2022. Okay, so this isn't even brand new. Nope, it's mm -hmm. been simmering for a while, and the thing is... What's the thing? Their methodology is, uh, well, it's raising some eyebrows, let's say. Oh, really? How so? So, according to the video, they used open-source satellite data... Basically, publicly available stuff from satellites. Okay. And get this, they didn't do any actual field work. No digging, no ground penetrating radar, nothing like that. Nope. They claim they scanned the Great Pyramid of Cheops purely through this satellite data. Wow. And they found stuff. Right. Their big claim was unknown chambers inside the pyramid. Okay, but hold on. How can you see inside a solid structure from space? That's the million dollar question. And that's where their claims get really interesting because they basically said their technology was so advanced it could see things invisible to everyone else, even the Scan Pyramids project. The one that actually put sensors inside the pyramid? Exactly. They're saying they found things that even that project missed. Bold claim. Yeah, very bold. And the video kind of digs into how they supposedly did this. So how did they? They're talking about detecting these super tiny vibrations coming from the pyramid, like micromillimetric movements. Micromillimetric? Yeah, a millionth of a millimeter. You're kidding. Nope, that's what they claim. And they supposedly use this vibration data to build a 3D scan of the pyramid's interior. I mean, I'm no scientist, but that sounds... Far-fetched. Yeah, a little bit. To say the least, and the presenter in the video actually encourages viewers to go read the original publication from 2022, which they link in the description. Oh, interesting. So we can see the source material for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the implication is that if you actually read the study, you'll see there's no evidence for these massive underground structures they're talking about now. Okay, so that's a big red flag right there if the original research doesn't even mention what they're claiming now. Right, and it makes you wonder how they're getting from these tiny vibrations to a full 3D model of what's inside the pyramid, let alone these huge underground complexes. Right, like how are they isolating those vibrations from a structure that weighs 6 million tons? And how are they differentiating between vibrations from the pyramid itself versus like traffic or geological activity or anything else? Yeah, it all seems a bit... Iffy. Yeah, and to make it even more uh, interesting, Biondi and Malanga also proposed that the Great Pyramid wasn't a tomb at all. Oh, I heard about that. They think it was like a giant water-powered machine or something. Right, a resonator, they call yeah. it, which goes against pretty much everything we know about ancient Egypt. Yeah, it's a pretty radical departure from mainstream Egyptology. So basically, they were already making some pretty out-there claims back in 2022. Definitely. But here's the kicker. Their 2022 analysis didn't mention any underground structures at all. No tunnels, no secret chambers, nothing below the surface. So where did that all come from? Well, the video says it basically exploded online in 2025 the, out of nowhere. Like it went viral. Exactly. YouTube, yeah. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, it's everywhere now. And even the presenter in the video is like, wait, what happened? So what changed between 2022 and now? That's the big question, and it seems like the story morphed into this whole underground complex thing, a massive cavern spanning two kilometers wide, 700 to 800 meters deep. Wow, okay, so it got way bigger. Way bigger, and now they're saying it's beneath the pyramids, but not connected to them. That's true. Like, why build this huge underground city and not connect it to the yeah. pyramids? Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And then there's the most outlandish claim. Which is? The stuff supposedly under the Pyramid of Khafre. They're talking about these tubes 680 meters high. Hold on, 600? 
680 meters. That's a taller than most skyscrapers. Ugh. Yeah, it's mind boggling. And they say these tubes have stairs or even like houses at the top. Underground houses. Underground houses 680 meters below the surface, supposedly some kind of transit area for humans. I mean, it's a cool image, but. Totally. But the video makes a really important point. There's no actual data to back any of this up. So it's all just speculation? Pretty much. They've got these nice graphics and animations, but where's the evidence? Right. You can't just draw a picture of a giant underground city and say it's real. Exactly. And they're still relying on satellite data, apparently, from a new satellite this time. But still, no ground-based sensors, no physical proof. And hasn't there been a ton of research done at Giza, like, for centuries? Yeah, almost 200 years of archaeologists and scientists studying the site. So you'd think if there were these huge underground structures, someone would have found some evidence by now. You'd think so. And the video points out that there's been zero independent confirmation of any of these claims. No other scientists saying, hey, we found this too. Nope, nothing. And the video also mentions how much confusion there is online about all this people mixing up the pyramids, misinterpreting the claims. It's like a big mess. It's easy to see how things get distorted when they go viral. Absolutely. And the presenter actually uses this term Glooby bulga to describe the whole thing. Glooby bulga. It's a French word basically meaning like a jumbled, nonsensical mess. And that's kind of how they feel trying to make sense of these claims. Especially since the original study doesn't even seem to support them. Exactly. It all boils down to what the video calls spexy nonsense. These ideas that sound really cool and exciting but have no real basis, in fact. But they get attention because they're so out there. Right. It's like clickbait for the ancient world. So what's the reality check here? Well, we know the Giza Plateau pretty well. It's been studied extensively. We know about the pyramid corridors, the mastabas, the limestone bedrock. It's all very well documented. None of that suggests these massive underground cities. Not at all. And think about it logically. The ancient Egyptians built these huge pyramids, millions of tons of stone. Right. Does it make sense that they'd then excavate even larger spaces underneath them, hundreds of meters deep, kilometers wide? It seems kind of backwards. Yeah, the video says it just has no sense. And then there are these tubes. They're talking about 680 meters high, supposedly self-supporting, with stairs inside, but no visible support structures or entrances. It sounds more like fantasy than archaeology. The presenter compares it to something a child would draw from their imagination. Okay, so bottom line, what's the takeaway here? The video concludes that while there was a study done in 2022, the more sensational claims that spun off from it, these underground cities and massive tubes, are basically pure invention. So it's a case of a little bit of truth getting blown way out of proportion. Exactly. And it's a good reminder that just because something sounds cool or mysterious doesn't mean it's true. We always have to look at the evidence. Absolutely. Critical thinking is key, especially when it comes to these grand claims about ancient history. So for you listening, what do you think? Is it just... Our fascination with the unknown that makes us so eager to believe these kinds of stories, or is there something more to it? It's a good question to ponder. Why are we so drawn to these mysteries, even when the evidence is shaky? Maybe it's a bit of both the allure of the unknown and our desire to find something truly extraordinary in the past. Perhaps, and maybe it's a reminder to be both curious and critical to explore these mysteries, but always keep a healthy dose of skepticism. Exactly, because the truth is often more interesting than fiction. Well said, and sometimes the search for answers can lead us down some pretty fascinating paths, even if they don't lead to lost underground cities. That's a good point. Sometimes the journey is just as rewarding as the destination. Exactly, and who knows, maybe there are still amazing discoveries waiting to be made at Giza. We just have to be careful not to get ahead of ourselves and let the facts lead the way. Absolutely, let's keep exploring, but let's do it with our eyes wide open. To the real evidence and the real science. Exactly. That's how we unlock the true secrets of the past. And who knows what we might find.